We're still under curfew here and businesses are destroyed, making daily life in the panhandle extremely difficult. Even just the basics of getting food, water and gasoline. The drive down here was almost as bad as seeing my place. For many, the life they once knew is gone, replaced by an uncertain future. You can't really do anything until your insurance adjuster comes. Storm ravaged Mexico Beach is unrecognizable to residents returning for the first time. We can't leave our home. In Panama City, Ricky Stewart sleeps in a pop up tent in her driveway, while her husband keeps watch in a folding chair to keep looters away. If somebody comes to my house and tries to loot, I'm, they're not going to walk away. So, like our sign says, looters will be shot. Many still have no electricity. Most have no clean water. And food is hard to come by. How are we doing on hamburgers over here? In Lynn Haven, neighbors and volunteers are pitching in, providing hot meals, gasoline, and supplies. Crews work nonstop to clean the never-ending mess of debris. We're here doing everything possible to help the people. The death toll continues to rise, now up to 39. Rescuers have stopped searching for survivors. Uh, war zone is devastating. Stephen Ashbrook and his family spend their days combing through their house, deciding what to salvage. His two daughters don't go to school anymore. Uh, just keep emptying the house, trying to rebuild it, and hopefully go back soon. For families across the panhandle, there is no end in sight. You have to live the new normal, and the new normal is you have your pumpkin, you put your decorations out, and you get ready for Halloween with the no houses to trick-or-treat at. One thing we keep hearing from residents is information is extremely difficult to come by out here. When will schools be reopened? When will power be restored? And making it all that much more difficult is cell phone service is really spotty, so it's very hard to communicate with anyone out here. Peter and Chanel. Yeah, those pictures still so dramatic. Tammy Leitner, thank you very much.